Hello and welcome. I'm Nathan Seppi, the youth director here. And right now it's our kids story, which is uh, for folks who are joining online today. Stay tuned. We'll have our live stream of the service in the Shoreline Auditorium starting right after this. But right now it's the kids story. So kids, I have a story for you today about an unlikely solution. You see, early on, there were a bunch of scientists uh, researching nuclear reactors. This is a little bit ago. And as they were researching as a way to make energy, and these were some of the smartest people in the world, right? And some of the biggest brains you could find all putting their heads together. But pretty soon they had a problem that they had to deal with. You see, from these reactors, there was this waste that they needed to find a way to clean up safely. And so, of course, the smartest people were trying to find the smartest way to do this. They were looking for different chemicals that could react or building the, the biggest and best containers that they could. But the solution actually ended up being something a lot less likely than you would expect. It's actually probably something in your house right now, if you have a feline friend, that is. That's right, it was kitty litter. Yeah, they used kitty litter to start cleaning up this waste and found that it could neutralize some harmful effects and it was the solution that they needed. And this story of an unlikely solution reminds me about how God will use unexpected people to forward God's story. For example, we can look at a man named Saul. You see, Saul was a Pharisee who was very intent on stopping the Christian message from spreading. And so as Christians were going about spreading the good news of Christ, he would try to have them imprisoned, or sometimes even worse, cast votes for them to be killed. So he was out there, uh, you know, tra tracking down all of these early Christians and something amazing happened to him. As he was walking a road to Damascus, a city where he hoped to find some Christians hiding, he was suddenly struck by a bright light. And he fell off of his horse onto the ground and was blinded. He couldn't see anything. And when he was there, he heard a voice and it said, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute me? As he was on the ground, he was confused and he said, who are you? And the voice told him, I am Jesus, the one you are persecuting. This experience started a long journey for Saul, where he eventually came to know the good news of Jesus himself. He became a Christian. And not only that, but he became one of the biggest spreaders of the gospel in the early church. He sailed all around the Mediterranean Sea telling people about Jesus. And what an unexpected person for God to use. This person who had been uh, trying to stop God's word from spreading at all costs, right? Became the biggest spreader of God's word at the end. And I guess that this all just goes to show what the big idea is for today, which is how God uses unlikely people to spread God's message. Thank you all for listening. And let's go ahead and pray before uh, we jump into the live stream of the service. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you that in your love, you will find people, anyone, even the most unexpected people to continue your story of love and justice and peace in this world. God, I pray that we will be attentive to the ways that you are calling us into your story this week. Praise in Jesus' name. Amen.